Hey guys, what's going on? Negative Soldier here, and I'm just going to do a Twitter tutorial on how to use a PlayStation 3 DualShock 3 controller with your PC for use on certain games that support it, such as Skyrim or Max Payne. So, the program you need to use your controller on the PC is called Motion Enjoy Gamepad Tool. Now, I'll put a link in this in the description. Or a download one, so you can go ahead and download it and install it. That's standard for you know standard program installation, so you shouldn't have any trouble with it. Now, the program is up. What I'm gonna do here is just go ahead and put my USB cable into my PlayStation 3 controller, and as you can see, it's popped up right there. Now, this isn't a fresh install, so this won't happen when you first install it. It may do. That's great if it does, but if it doesn't. What you want to go on ahead and have to do is go ahead and click on Driver Manager. It'll come up with the admin permission uh, prompt. Just go ahead and press yes. So go on Driver Manager and you'll see here the USB ports. And if it does not have the driver loaded onto it, there'll be a cross here instead of a tick. So what you do is you go ahead and click on it and then you go on Load Driver and it's all or the driver for that USB device. Just coming up here, this may take a few moments. Install and driver. Install Motion Joy driver successfully. So, now when you go back onto profiles, it should actually show up there if it didn't before. And what you want to go on ahead and have to do is go on and click on Xbox 360 controller emulator. This will allow it to work as default for most PC games, it will just detect it as an Xbox controller. And go ahead and click on Enable. So, to test this, to make sure it's actually enabled and working, you can actually click on these battery information LEDs here. Enable a custom number, like 12134. Click on Enable and it will actually change the LEDs on your PS3 remote if it's working. So I'm just going ahead and go ahead and disable these. Enable again to change it back. So that's done if you just want to use a USB cable to play it. But if you've got a Bluetooth adapter, you can go ahead and go on Bluetooth pair. Now I've already got my USB adapter put in, so it's shown up now. So here, and what you do is go on, make sure your device is hosted here. You click pair now, and it'll pair to a custom addra address. Now go on to Profiles and unplug your controller and now it will reconnect under the Bluetooth. So you've got a fully working wireless PS3 controller that will work with some of your PC games. Um, you can get to work for emulators but you have to mess around in the settings and map all the keys and stuff and buttons so most users will be able to do that. You know, it's not that it's not that difficult. Um, many games on Steam work automatically with controllers, such as Max Payne, Skyrim. You know, probably the Call of Duty games, but I haven't you know confirmed that. So that's pretty much it. The one thing I will mention is that if you want to use this for your PS3 again, you just put it in by USB, and it's all repair it's to your PS3 but if you go back to your PC it won't work it won't work it won't connect to Bluetooth so you have to put it back in and pair it up again for it to work on wireless so that's it if you have any problems or comments chuck them down there underneath the video and I'll get back to you if you need any help just you know tap it up and I'll try and get back to you ASAP bye